Hello everyone, this is Zerus Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Frostpunk Let's Play. We pick things back up from day 8. Uh, it's about to be day 9, and most importantly, it's about to drop temperature on day 10. And we have some situations where we are lacking a bit of food, and we're also, um, you know, losing our access to these little supply piles. We only have 81 wood left before we're officially out of wood. So what I'd like to do uh, is to finish up the steel and build ourselves a sawmill here so we can start taking these wood down. And also we need to think about what we need to build here in terms of research. So we have the tier 1 uh, drawing boards access and I think we will eventually want to come here and get the range upgrade for our generator. It will really help because we need to build more homes um, to uh, get the second ring around. Aside from that... Hmm, eventually we would like to get a wall drill. That's a lot of wood right there. But I think we'll settle with the saw mill for now. It's just a lot cheaper to build. Hot house is available. We have 20 wood that we can use to build it. That becomes another issue here. So if we get this 20 wood, we have about 81 wood left we said. So that's about 117 wood. We need to build streets. So let's say 17 wood is gone there. And then out of the 100, I need to build three more homes. That's 70 wood left. Hot house, another 50 left. And then we also want to research generator range, so we're down to about 30 left. And those 30, I think we're going to use to build another uh, medical post, because we also have a little bit too many sick. So yeah, lots to do with this last bit of wood that we have left. Uh, we need to pump 15 guys into the hunter's tent uh, right around when work is seizing. Let's just resume for now because we can get rid of all this steel about at 4.30ish and once we get there uh, we can shift those guys to go to the hunting hut. Right about now. There we go. Oh, there's only five people there. Hmm. Okay, I mean, we have a bit of extra manpower at the coal station and we do have a bit of coal saved up so I think we'll be okay there we go get the engineers evolved and we are all good and with this piece of land opened up here we were thinking about dropping the sawmill and you can see all these trees that we can get we can even put it on this side and then we don't even have to build any more roads and there's a good amount of trees I mean here would be I guess we can call it optimum, maybe here, because that, that saves up enough space for maybe a ring of houses or three width buildings right there. But this isn't too bad, I don't have to build any road, which is kind of tempting. I, I, ideally, I think we want to build at least... Hold on. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Because eventually we can still build this. This doesn't interfere with this. This is more of like, oh, there's a few trees that overlap, but it's mainly the trees over here. And the main thing is we don't have to build a road to mess that up. So I'm going to drop that down. Seems like we have nine people that can come here and do that. Wait, how do we have nine people? I thought we had everyone working. Uh, anyways, just to make sure that we have enough people, I'm going to drop all the steel production. We don't really need that at this point. They can go do that. And I'm just going to shift the workforce a little. Not the engineers build better, even though I think that should be the case. Two hours. Okay, so this would be available. Uh, during this cold front and we can turn on the heater and allow them to keep working is, it's off time. 
All right, the hunters are going out and then we can make food during the next day while it's still warm enough because this building gets incredibly cold. And we should have a new scouting target. I'm thinking it might end up being more men coming back to us instead of resources. And then we're missing three beds, as we said. Research for this will cost us 20. Three beds will cost us exactly 30. Um, hmm. And then we gotta think about... Hothouse is really thick. Yeah, this width is kind of weird because we end up having to build... Hmm. I like things in nice shapes, but uh, I don't think we can maintain it. These homes are going to be cold. That's the only problem. And homeless people tend to stay on the inner core. I don't know if that's going to be better for them or not. But these guys are cold. Hmm. Until we can push this through. Uh, not this. The research, yeah. Not this one, but the, the next one where we extend the range. It's not going to look pretty. And I really want another hospital. Maybe that's what I should build first, actually. Is this different size? Than, no, it's the same size as the building, so it's going to be about the same. Yeah, I'm going to put a hospital down first. And spin a little bit of wood. Finish up this ring. Let's do minus four wood. That way we have a nice even number there. Alright, resume. There should be enough men working here. The seven engineers can come here and build, and then we can put five engineers in here to heal these five people who are sick. It seems like our gravely ill did not get amputated. Ah, our scouts has reached the destination. Survivors, yes. Okay. I think they're all going to be survivors. Oh, what? Beset by beasts, we can hear terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill. When we come closer, several polar bears turn towards us blocking the entrance there are people trapped inside and those beasts are picking them off one by one and feasting on them discovered crash site the bears kill the survivors oh the scouts become endangered but the people in the cave will definitely survive well scouts are worth 40 wood uh, a bit of cruel math here but if we leave them alone everyone inside dies hmm this is a bit of a tough call because um, there's 35 people inside and I don't really want 35 people back so we're going to pretend we didn't see anything and uh, move on to maybe the crash site. Oh dear, these uh, moral judgment calls. Um, yeah. We just left. It's died soon after though. These bear have big appetite apparently, 35 people. And this is why we have refugee issues around the world, because um, survivals of the home state versus survival of new survivors, who is just equally sad. Alright, moving on ahead, we have a crash site, several wrecked vehicles, no signs of life, they're probably our machines. Yes. This is what we need to get. Uh, although, they're asking us to find another settlement. But uh, I need resources. Our settlement is a settlement we have to worry about. Okay, so we have the hospital setting up. And we have the hunters going out already. We can send people to work here. Once it gets super cold. Yeah, chilly plus the heater means livable. 
Although, once it drops to negative 40, that might not be the case. I mean, even if we don't work during that one cold day, or technically two cold day, we should be okay, as long as we have enough coal stored up. So, that's really all that's important. Let's get through the night. I want to treat all the sick. Yes, perfect. We're going to get more sick because we have people without housing. And looking at the heat... Do I have to worry about the hospital being heated? I mean, it's in the second ring, but I can't really do anything. Things have to get into the second ring. We just need the right thing here. We have a new adaptation available. Uh, basically, you can sign one once in a while. Care houses. So the gravely ill and amputees will be cared for at low cost in special homes. Right, so we can build these and basically they will take up less food. They will give base heat level increase. And they won't burden the medical post. They will eat half of much. Hope will rise. This is a pretty good building uh, just because hope will rise. But being kept alive. Oh, I guess this means, right, this means we can wait till we either build an uh, infirmary, which can heal gravely ill, or until we get, you know, prosthetics and the amputees can get back limbs. Uh, but maybe not what we want to go right now. Maybe, you know, emergency shift doesn't sound so bad. We can kind of uh, push people through, but I think... Hmm. I don't need that one, and we're not going to cheap out on the food. We invested heavily into two hunters' tents, so we're not going to cheap out on the food. Child labor is getting slightly tempting because we now have the option of building the hot house, and all our kids can become useful. But then again, child shelter doesn't sound bad. Ah, these decisions. We already made a tough one this episode. We can wait on this one. Alright, it's not gravely. Uh, it's all these homeless people. That's why we didn't want them back, you know? They're gonna come back, they're gonna be cold, everyone's gonna be sick, and it's gonna be during the negative 40 where we can't keep people sheltered. They're gonna die here anyways, and our scout could have died too. Oh my god, these homeless are really, really getting picked off. I mean, without the range extension, there's nothing we can do. The extra hospital definitely helps, but... Um, as long as they're not gravely ill. The extra 24 hour shift probably be pushing the workshop, which might help us pick up things like extended range a bit faster, but we're definitely getting that now. Oh my god, all these guys are getting sick. Are they back? Yes, they are. Okay. Max that. None of that. What is happening? Uh, we have our first amputee. Well, it's bound to happen. Um, yeah, I think we might end up getting this care house because it can house people and 20 gravely ill can be 20 gravely ill and amputee can be cared here. That's that's quite a bit. And they give us this hope. All right, we have a dedicated building. Ooh, do we have enough wood? Okay, we're going to have a bit of wood. 825 nearby. Hmm, it will last us a bit. We have 15 here, 15 here. I'm going to just send the workers out first. Food is being produced. This is being produced. People are still getting healed. Okay, all right, we'll do that. And we will build this care house right off the bat. There is three base heat in the care house, so we can probably build it away from the ring. Um, looking at the width though, wow, this is a thick building. It fits pretty nicely here. That is far away though. 
But I think what the temperature does is like it's the same everywhere as long as you're not next to the generator. So placing it here versus here is the same thing. We're basically getting the two base heat. And when the temperature drops, it's going to sustain itself based on the base heat. Uh, it'll be, I think it would just be barely livable. So I don't think this is a bad choice because this ring we kind of kept for housing and this is the width of housing. So I think we put it here. Yes, we're out of wood. Yeah, it does mean more bed for the rest of us. I'm going to drop a few engineers to go help build. That means a lot of the sick can be housed. I think we only had that one gravely ill guy, which is kind of interesting because he's the one who got sick, it turned out. Ah, oh, we need... Ah, oh, we're slowed down. Ooh, this is bad timing. Do not have wood. Come on, boys. Two hours to get wood and then eight hours to get research. Yeah, we're pushing it. Well, there's, there's nothing we can really do. Oh, actually, we get wood here too, right? Waiting for workers? Are they not, not here? Oh, because I think most of them are hunters returning. Anyways, our wood is almost there. Gotta just watch that. The second we get it, we start researching. Our core extension, it's going to cost us extra coal, I think. Oh no, it's not. It's not, it's just the setting. I think the steam level will cost us extra coal. Although I would think this would be costly too. Oh, we can turn off individual buildings from being powered on, but th that's not, that's not going to uh, matter actually for our coal consumption. 364 a day. Yeah, it's doubled when this setting is being used. Okay. I mean, once the people finish cooking, there's not a lot of food. We also want to build a hot house. 20 wood. I mean, we'll get that soon. Oh. oh, raw food and wood. Perfect. That's where our expedition was split up. When our vehicles crashed during a snowstorm, some of our precious supplies should be here. Definitely precious. Fate of the Forgotten. There are plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of our expedition. Searching among the crates scattered in the snow behind the wrecks, we find the bodies. They're tangled together in a single frozen mass, as if these people are trying to find at least a bit of warmth just before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. So much wood. Come home. Come home. How long, I guess, will it be? Come home. Go back. Uh, it's it's return to our city. Eleven hours. Okay, bring back that food. We really need that food. Yeah, we have two people that's hungry, but we have people working here, so it's fine. We pause when we hit. Yes, hope rises. Wonderful. And he can house people. Oh, it's an engineer that became amputee. I wonder if it's because he's working... Right, I mean, like, when it was cold, he, th th this, this might have been a problem. Anyways, as you can see, this house can keep itself livable even here, just like the hunter's hut, which can be placed farther out. And can be worked during the negative 40. Why is the food people not working? It's, it seems like all five of them are resting after a hunt. Let's use the engineers. They didn't go hunt.
Oh, that coal pile is finished. Okay, that that's um yeah. I'm not gonna build a gathering hut. I'm just gonna individually tackle these. The wood also finished. That's all the wood we have. That's why we had to put up the sawmill. It is working. Eight per hour. And also we have supplies coming back. Now, food is going to be finished up here very shortly. When are you guys going to convert that last one? Are you guys not going to convert that last one? Oh, oh, he needs two. Wait. I thought it's. Oh, it's two unit per. Right. It's even numbers. Ooh. Do I want to send out the hunting parties? I mean, yes, for sure. Um, many of them will probably not go out to hunt, but going to a protest. Come on, at this level of discontent, lack of medical care. I mean, there's a lot of sick. It's lack of housing that's really the problem. Um, speaking of housing, we're gonna first build this. Uh, what is the heat level of supposedly a hot house? Only one, which is a bit unfortunate. So it's gotta stay close. In the second ring, it's double width of the housing. I could, yeah, I could work over here where we like place houses and then double stack one for the hot house, which is definitely doable. Alright, so everyone has housing. Do I have enough wood for this? Oh, apparently. Okay. And then... We still have enough wood for the hothouse and to build the road. All right, if we double stack the hothouse like this, we can definitely push two layers of housing, which would look pretty good too. Let me see if I want to place like one more tent here, I would start the hothouse like here. Here. Wait, these things are four width? Oh, wait, they're just going to be... They're not letting me do exactly... I mean, to make sure I don't make a mistake, I should just do this. Alright, there goes all our wood. Plenty of things to build. We didn't get it done, but we will have this ready at the start of next day. And that will push it for everyone. That's why 24 hour shifts might be so good. All right, all the coal is coming back. I don't know if we have enough coal. We might have to send workers out during the cold. Anyhow. That's our last steam core being used, yes. We cannot manufacture these, so we have to just found the, found, uh, find them during expeditions. Speaking of finding things, they're coming back. No roof over our heads. Captain, people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside this terrible cold. I will provide it for everyone. before the Great Freeze. Oh, the sick is still climbing. Please finish these shelters. Not that they will be, you know, warm, but... Uh, chili is uh, acceptable. 
the wisdom of the crowd. The captain, when faced with demands, remember this, people usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If they fix the problem your way, it's fine. Honestly, that's a nice cozy place to live. Come on. Hunters go out and hunt, and everyone else come and build. Get these homes up before 12 o'clock. Everyone's ho house, and we get some hope. Our scout has returned. Yes. Okay. He needs to go back out. Seems like we want to finish the mission of finding another settlement. It's going to have survivors, is my guess. And, um... We're ready to take on some new people now that we have housed everyone else. Just timing. Alright, we have food. Doesn't mean we should go work there right now. We're going to have a lot of coal use in the next two days. Because we need to turn up the heaters, get things working in a lot of places. Yeah, it's going to be rough. Let's finish this first. Good place to get food. So this is where we can actually send kids to work if we go with child labor, but I think during the cold couple days, we will just send everyone to the hunter's hut and the hothouse and do this as well. And I'm thinking, do I send folks out here and risk gravely ill because we kind of need coal? Anyways, I'll worry about that when time comes. 6 is still rising, yeah. These tents, just because we have them doesn't mean it's keeping people safe. Ooh, what is going on here? One starving. I mean, there is raw food. People can't eat that. It's it's definitely an option, but I don't know why you would be starving here. Alright, new day rises and temperature falls. Ah, and then we would need... Oh, this is too cold. Okay, so this is telling us where we need to put heaters. Each of them was going to cost us one extra coal. Yeah, those are cold. Everything else is chilly. And it's going to be a chilly couple days. We, we can't do much about that. Um, once we get the extended range going, we can turn off the heaters in the second ring, which, you know, will obviously save us some coal. Uh, we'll spend six here and uh, save three here. Uh, but they'll keep the houses warm, so that's good. But yeah. This is very cold. I, I don't know. I don't think I want to get gravely ill. I think we have enough coal for these two days, and then we can just send out a lot of parties to go grab them. So yeah, that's currently our situation. Our scout has dumped some supplies off, keeping us afloat, uh, with extra wood especially. So I guess not having enough crates might still be fine, even if we didn't get this sawmill up and running. But we do have the sawmill up and running, and it's maintaining a decent amount of temperature. Um, we might turn on the heater here just to make sure we don't get people falling ill, but that's going to be a decision coming uh, next time. I think we'll end the episode here as we hit another cold front. And looking ahead, warm days or negative 30 days are bound and we should be able to do more with our settlement. And you can see the difference between cold places and warm places with the snow on the roof. It's kind of cool actually. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!